Hello everybody and welcome back to the WHU Pulse YouTube channel and today is the day where we start the second team career mode. We started the West Ham yesterday, hope you guys enjoyed that video, but today I think you guys are going to enjoy. If you go back and look at my channel you will see a series on FIFA 18 that I wish I had time to do, but it was done right at the end of it. But, it's back. The Shakhtar Donetsk Super League Career Mode is back on FIFA 20. I've sorted all the leagues out. We did get promoted, I think, or I don't quite think we finished the series. Therefore, we're starting it now. We've got six months, so it will be done. Let's run you through the leagues quickly. Right. You'll find out what league we're in. It's the same league as last time. But we move up. We've got in the top division. Just disclaimer: I didn't make this. I used this uh, Super League template on Reddit. Uh, if I remember, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Uh, so thank you to have made that. So I've made a few alterations to it. So don't kill me, please. Um, but the Premier League is Arsenal, Atletico, Chelsea. It's basically the big boys. I'll scroll through. Uh, obviously, the Champions League in this save is going to be messed up. Therefore, um, yeah, the FA Cup and the League Cup are basically going to be the versions of the Champions League. So, yeah, and then like the Johnston's Paint Trophy or Leasing.com Trophy or whatever it is, is kind of like the second tier Europa League, if you get what I mean. Uh, championship, uh, we'll just scroll through these. There are some tough boys. This is, as a Super League career mode, it's basically Europe's big boys with a few South American teams uh, dropped in along the way. Um, so, yeah, we'll just go through the teams, letting you know where who's in what league. Uh, there's my boys, West Ham. Hopefully, they can somehow get to the top, but I highly doubt. This is the league we're in. Now, this is the one that is going to be the most attention to. It's kind of the same league, but not really. So, we've got Besiktas at Brighton. Uh... Uh, Boca Juniors, but they're Buenos Aires on this game. Burnley, Palace, Dynamo Zagreb, Fenerbahce, Fiorentina, Galatasaray, Hertha Berlin, Lille, Newcastle, River Plate, but Nunez on this game, uh, Marseille, PSV, RC Celta, Espanyol, Braga, Schalke, Eidbar, Us, Southampton, Sporting, Werder Bremen, and, um, yeah, that's League 1. And then League 2, hopefully we never have to go into this league, but it's there for effect. Uh, Mainz, Club America, St. Etienne, Aston Villa, Basak Zer, Bologna, Calgary, Celtic, Club Bruges, Alaves, Dynamo Kiev, FC Augsburg, Bordeaux, Cologne, Levante, Monterey, Montpellier, Nice, Olympiacos, Racing Club. I don't know why I'm saying these ones. You guys can look for yourselves. But... You've come here to see the start of the Shakhtar Donetsk. Correct. So we're going to start this up. We're going to see. We'll be playing on a legendary. Uh, four minutes and a half. Uh, we're going to disable the Champions League. Actually, no. no we're going to disable the Champions League uh, for the first season. The Champions League, like I said, is going to be no actual point. If I ever get to that, like the top division and get to play in the Champions League and Europa League, I'm going to sim all the games because I don't see the point of competing it. I'd much rather try and win the FA Cup, which is all the Carabao Cup, which is basically the version of the Champions League. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This episode is going to be nice, chill and relax. Um, this is where I'm going to... While this is loading, this is where I'm going to explain the dynam uh, dynamics of both saves. On the West Ham, we're going to play as many games as possible. We are going to play as many games as possible, basically play every game. On this one, I'm going to do a month at a time, because it's the lower league of English football. So, we're going to do a month at a time, probably sim most home games, play the away games, but we'll decide what's happening. If we have a title fight game at home near the end of the season, we'll play that, or like a big boy away game, or home game in the uh, FA Cup, like against the Barca or someone like that, we'll play it then. So that's going to be the thing for this series, so we can get along quickly as possible with this. So this will be um, quick and possible, whereas the West Ham will be a more, bit more slow-paced because we're going to try and play as many games as possible. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we're going to advance. We're just going to—we're not going to sign anyone here. We're just going to go through the squad and 
jizz like that. Uh, so we'll go through the emails first. The rules are kind of the same as signings on the other career mode. I'm hopefully some of you have seen that, but uh, it is quite literally. I'm only allowed to sign players um, that are in the four leagues. So yeah, hang on, wait. I do just want to. Are we in the Europa League? I thought it turned. Oh, I probably didn't turn it off, did I? If we're in the Europa League, I'm going to sim all the games. UEFA Europa League. That's not good. That's a thing. Well, I'm going to sim all those games because bollocks things we are in the Europa League, so I'll just sim all those games, so it doesn't matter. Um, I thought I'd turn it off, though. I swear. If not, I'm gonna... um, that's the starting 11. Uh, that is probably the formation I'm going to stick with. Uh, we're going to go... Not team sheet. I'm going to go through the squad just to see what I'm working with here. I've actually probably looked at the squad since that career mode. Right. Goalkeeper. We've got Andrei Pate or Piatov, the guy who was the goalkeeper on the first series. So he's fine. We've got Alexei Savchenko as the backup. So that's fine with me. We are going to probably need a new goalkeeper soon. We need a new backup left back, though, because we can't just deal with Ismale. Uh, Centre backs, we've got Christiov Matavienko. Kolod, Xavier, and Bondar. Um, Centre-backs we look fine with. I feel like I could probably... Uh, maybe a centre-back. We'll push. Right-back we look fine with Bolbat. Bolbat. What a name. Bolbat. And Dodo. We're fine. Uh, CDMs. We've got Stepenko, Malashev, Marcos Antonio. I'm not even going to bother pronouncing that name. Uh, and Macon. So, we're fine for centre midfielders. Uh, on In the cam spot, we've got... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. We've got we've got the amount of cams that we normally did. Um, we don't near really need to sort out wingers. So, we've got Fernandini or Fernando, Ciplano, Mona, Solomon, uh, Teti, Marlos, uh, and Conor Plianca. So, they're all fine. In this cam position, we've got Alan Patrick, Tyson... Kovalenko, Dentinho, and Wellington Nem. Wellington Nem will probably be used out wide. We've got a lot of wingers and a lot of forwards here that could probably need sorting out. Uh, we'll keep Solomon, Teti, oh, and Marlos. Marlos needs to stay. Uh, Fernando, we'll loan Cipriano out in the cam spot. Tyson stays. Patrick can be used as a CDM. I'm going to sell Dentinio, and I'm going to sell Wellington Nem. So we've got Kovalenko, Tyson, and Alan Patrick. Yeah, that's fine. And then up front, we've got Junior Moraes and Danilo Sikan. So by the looks of things, three players that we need. Uh, we need a backup left-back, a centre-back, and a striker. Yeah. Maybe a goalkeeper. So comment, like, four players, but yeah. So, that's what the squad looks like. That's the uh, team. We'll actually sort this starting eleven out. What would I go with? Get off in goal. I'll put Dodo at right back. We've got Kratov and ooh, probably Mati Vienko. Is Mali left back? Connor Planka on the wing? Yeah. Uh, CDM will go with Malashev. No, we've got Macon. Uh, Stepenko, Marlos, Tyson, and then Moraes up top. Yeah. So, can you please find me a backup left back, a centre back, and a striker, and maybe a goalkeeper as well? So, hope you guys enjoyed this first episode, and welcome back to the longest series I've ever done on YouTube. Hopefully, it can stay that way. So, as always, I will catch you later, and goodbye.